What's up you guys, Nick here, and last year I made a video on this channel called The Most Money I Made in One Year as a Pro Runner. It's a fantastic video. I'll link it at the end of this one so you can check it out. But first, I wanted to point out the number one comment on that video. And that comment is from Josh Pinchuk, who says, Nick, I'm not sure if your other fans would be interested, but I would love to hear the story of Rungum, particularly the business aspect. Did you borrow? Where did the idea come from? Is it profitable, etc." With 201 thumbs up on that comment, I figured I probably should answer his questions and make a video out of it. So here we go. In this video, I will tell you where the idea came from, how we funded it and got off the ground, and I will answer the question, how much is it worth today? So kicking things off, what is Run Gum? Well, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, Run Gum, you know I'm gonna say it, it's like an energy drink, but in gum form. This little packet here, think of it like an energy drink, right? It has caffeine, taurine, B vitamins, and 100 milligrams of caffeine in this little packet. Two pieces of gum, 50 milligrams a piece per gum, 100 milligrams. It's very similar to what you'd find in an energy drink. So how did I come up with the idea? Well, uh, when you make Olympic teams, all these companies send you their product. And one company was sending me their energy drinks and I fell in love with their energy drink. I would drink the energy drink, I'd go crush my workout, and then I would run to the bushes to throw up the energy drink. See, I loved what was in the energy drink, caffeine, towering B vitamins. I just didn't want anything sloshing around in my stomach, right? That was the last thing I wanted. Sugary carbonated liquid in my stomach. No thank you, just want the stimulants. Now I studied biochemistry in college and I knew that these stimulants could be absorbed sublingually, like through the lining of your gums. Think about uh, Nicorette chewing gum, it's a good example of functional chewing gum. And so I thought that's it. Let's put caffeine tower and B vitamins into a piece of chewing gum and I'll be able to get these stimulants up to five times faster through this absorption and completely bypass my GI tract. It made so much sense to me. So I called around to a dozen manufacturers who didn't even give me the time of day, but I found this one manufacturer who said, yeah, Nick, I can make this for you. The problem is we do have minimum order quantities, MOQs. And he said, the only way I'll make this for you, you'll have to order a million pieces. A million pieces. I didn't know how to buy a million pieces of caffeinated chewing gum. So I approached my coach at the time, Sam LaPre, my business partner, and I said, Sam, I know that this will sell. I know that this is a brilliant idea. Pat myself on the back for that one. I know this will sell. Will you partner with me on this? And he did. So we went 50-50. Now we had what's called a bootstrapped model, meaning we were going to bootstrap this from day one. We were going to put our own money in, not raise money, put our own money in. Sam put a check in, I put a check in. We bought those million pieces of gum. And this is the gum you know and love today, but this is what it looked like. In the if those of you who have been around, Run Gum's been around almost eight years now, you remember that this is what it originally looked like. You have mint, you have fruit, and um, that's how we sold it. So we sold those million pieces of gum, and then we bought more gum, and we sold that, and then we bought more, and you know, eventually it got to the point where we couldn't keep up, meaning we did have to borrow. Our cute bootstrap company ultimately had to raise money, and that leads me to question number two, did you borrow? Yes. Um, initially, we did a friends and family round. Kind of lots of young businesses do this. They say, hey friends, hey family, we've got this fast growing business. We need investors. Will you invest in us? Will you invest in this idea? We did a friends and family round and ultimately that spurred even more growth. We got into Target, we got into Walmart, Amazon, nationwide, and we had to raise more money. And we did what's called a seed round. Um, and this is going to get into probably why you clicked into this video. How much is Run Gum worth? Well, if you go to a site called PitchBook. This is publicly available information if you shell out the thousands of dollars that you need to have access to it. Um, PitchBook will show you that in 2019, Rungum raised money at an 8.5 million post valuation. Meaning once you take that capital in, the valuation, you've all seen Shark Tank, the valuation of that company came in at $8.5 million. Now that was 2019, three years ago. We have gone on to do some incredible things since then. We've sold millions and millions of dollars worth of Run Gum. And I would say we're worth considerably more than that. But again, a privately held business like Run Gum, it's only worth what someone else is willing to pay for it. I certainly know what I think it's worth today, but 
I really don't have a price per share based on a recent valuation. Will we raise money in the future? Probably. And at that time, I would know what the new valuation is for RunGum. But all I have to go on right now is that previous seed round, that last priced round that priced the company at $8.5 million. Now, I don't own 100% of the company. I have been the founder from day one and I've been the CEO for the last seven years. But I have business partners and I have investors. And while I do own a good chunk of the company, I don't own it outright. That has kind of been the last seven and a half years of where this company's come from. Next week, we will actually be making the biggest announcement in the history of RunGum since that first day in October 14th, 2014. Next week, I will be making a jaw-dropping revelation. You don't want to miss it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. This one may shake things up pretty significantly. I'll see you then.